after a storm comes light and tomorrow there's another storm as well coming so I decided to jump in the van purely on a whim conditions right now don't look ideal who knows but I'm going to head down to a location that I've gone to a number of times before and it has never ever failed me and that location is Ballycotton and Ballycotton if you're new to the channel is an area in East Cork where you've got a lighthouse that's just off the coast on an island and all along that coast you've got some phenomenal rocks and some great wave action as well that comes in there so my hope for today is to be able to capture some of that wave action now also if you want to see my recent video there where I said you know use your 70 to 200 more I want to use my 70 to 200 more as well so that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to only use my 70 to 200 well that's the plan anyway who knows I might use the wide angle but I don't want to really want to I'm only going to use the 7200 for this trip and as I talk right now the rain is starting to come down as well as you can see there with my wipers going but yeah who knows it might be a bust it could be great but I do know that either which way it's going to be an adventure be it good bad or indifferent I know I'm going to have some fun but will I get any shots let's join me and see The weather coming down here is absolutely crazy. So you would have seen a hell of a lot of rain and then the rain stopped and I saw the most vibrant I've ever seen of a rainbow. And it's still in front of me actually here now at the moment. I'll be a bit subdued, but the colors that I saw there were absolutely insane. Have a look at this rainbow and then we'll see how we go when we get to the coast. Welcome to Ballycotton. And Ballycotton, like I've said before, is a place that you can always get some nice shots from. And I'm confident I'm gonna get some shots from today. I'm gonna to grab the camera out of the back of the van now, and let's head down towards the water to get some shots. Now I found a spot, uh, quite kind of precarious anyway here on the rocks, but I've got the spikes into a bit of mud that's here and then I'm on the rocks on the other side. The wind isn't so bad, but the waves are absolutely fantastic. Like I'm looking out this way here and I've got some lovely layering, not only on the rocks that are in front, the mid-ground, but also in the distance there's another rock there too that seems to be catching the light and also the waves. Now the sun's light as well now is diffused at the moment, which is actually perfect. And I'm waiting for waves. You can see here as they're coming crashing in all around me. And every so often I get one of those large waves and then I just wait and then fire off 
the shots just as the water is hitting and because the light is coming through in it as well it's allowing me to get a fast shutter speed at the moment I'm up at 1 2500 of a second my ASO is at 400 and I'm at uh, f6.3 so I want to go really really fast on these shutter speeds and I want to be able to kind of freeze the water beading and the droplets within that I have the camera on the tripod as well at the moment it doesn't necessarily need to be on the tripod because I'm shooting so fast but I just want to be able to have it so I can get things set up and not putting the camera down on the ground doing a bit of video actually here now as well I'll give you a look at this bit of video next give you a look at a couple of the test shots that I've done as well with that and then I'll have a look around here I might shoot this direction too because the waves are breaking all around me but this is going to be fantastic and it's always good to come out after a storm and even when it's raining when you're at home still come out like I've always said there's no such thing as bad conditions in landscape photography you'll never know what you're going to get and now today I think it's going to be great imagine this when the light's going to drop down oh it's going to be superb Now I've come down further here because I've passed high tide so I should be okay as far as the waves coming over these rocks and the reason I wanted to come down here is because I can get a much lower perspective and then I can see where the waves are crashing actually on the rocks that are there more or less uninterrupted. Where I was earlier on the rock that's just uh, over here was actually coming into the base of the frame and I like that because it added a bit of layering however what I have to be conscious of is when I'm taking this is that not only am I going to get a clear view but I have to be careful of the waves. Now, I'm still, oh, geez, nearly uh, an hour and 20 minutes away from sunset. So the sun is going to start coming down and it's giving me a golden glow, which is what I'm looking for. And because the water is going out now, I should be safe enough. But there is always going to be the chance of a rogue wave, like a couple of the big ones that I'm watching here coming in, that could come along and just completely splash me. Now, where I have you positioned, actually, is further away back i don't want to risk getting that camera wet because when these waves come in here this whole ground is soaked it has come in over the top of these as well earlier and there's a couple of large ones here now that are coming through so i'm hopeful that i get a couple of nice shots anyway with those but like i said because the tide is going out i think the wave ferocity is going to uh, calm down but nonetheless it's still pretty good actually for some shots so yeah these are going to be handheld anyway i'm going to take a couple of quick test shots I'll give you a look actually at the test shots and then I'll check back in a while once the uh, light will come but you'll see the idea then what I'm going for for this composition. have a look right behind the lighthouse here I have a bit of a rainbow so I grab the camera there again quickly and just grab the shot because there is a bank of cloud that's over here on the western horizon but this is looking east I think it's kind of nice actually to have that rainbow right behind the uh, lighthouse that will actually work as well because as the sun is coming down this way it's going to be coming more 
in line with me and the lighthouse but yeah taking these shots here tried to time it with a wave as well and i've already brought you down low here because i wanted to be able to record this piece and to show you this uh, rainbow these waves are still pretty epic and actually right now i can see some pretty big ones oh yes some pretty big ones another one as well now coming in that are just smashing against these rocks here and with this light and dark clouds i think it looks really really nice yeah here's the next set anyway and we're nowhere near even on the good light and this is just epic I have you back down uh, to the safe spot actually here now as I come back over here handheld. Despite the tide going out, the waves are still insane. I have to have my wits about me here because there could be a wave that would crash right behind me here. In fact, there's one coming in here which didn't make it, but there's been others that have come right over the top. I had to move very, very quickly. But now the light is back out again here and it's really lighting up the tops of all these waves. Settings now at the moment actually I'm up to, would you believe, one five thousand of a second because the light is shining directly in. That's going to completely freeze the water. I don't know if it's going to be too fast to shutter speed. It's what I think is going to work anyway here in relation to it. But as these are coming through as well now, it is phenomenal. We are around 50 minutes now away from a sunset and now it's one moment there's a shot here i think oh yeah um we're around 50 minutes away now from sunset and i do think that i'm going to be rewarded here there is a bank of cloud on the west but i don't think it's going to swallow it up i think i might get a nice orange hazy glow from it if i do that would just be magical here's another big wave here now oh this is just incredible conditions here in Ballycock. Now, I've come over here further on the rocks because I'm shooting the same set of rocks that I was shooting earlier on, but I've come around for a different perspective. And looking here, I think I can get some nice shots because the sun is just up to the right, similar actually to what you're framing on there. And with that shot then as well here, taking these, I can see the water, not only when it hits these rocks, but as it comes back out. And then every so often, when one of these big waves comes in, it actually breaks as well here in front of me. I think at the moment, actually, it's going to be interesting because um, I am 30 minutes away from uh, sunset. You can see the glow that's happening there in the sky. So hopefully if that kicks off, it will be nice here. But I'm waiting for waves like these here, just being ready, ready to snipe the shot effectively. And then once the wave comes in and it crashes, I just grab that shot. I have to be careful, obviously, of the sky because with the sun that's there, that's potentially going to be uh, blown out. 
but with that I'm framing it as well then that it's starting in the bottom left hand corner ending up on the right hand side with the light that's coming from the sun and just waiting now for a wave there hasn't been any since I was talking so well maybe that one just take that shot anyway yeah that's okay nowhere near as good as it could be actually here but I'm confident that with this light that's streaming in here now and catching these waves when the big ones come in I'll get a nice shot so yeah give you a look at these now once I get a wave that crashes here in front of me Now, even though I think I'm safe here with the waves that are coming in, as you can see as I was walking in, they're still quite ferocious. I'm having to clean constantly from the spray. But one thing I've noticed I was missing for most of the day today was birds. Now, there are some birds that are milling around here. So while the light is just there, I'm going to wait for a wave and try and catch a wave that's breaking with a bird in the shot because I'm missing that actually and they seem to be here that bank of cloud that's there I think is going to swallow up the light so the best of the light I think has come and gone but I wasn't here for the light I was here for these monster waves and the light obviously is a bonus and as I'm looking out here and seeing some pretty big enough waves um, that are coming through so I'm waiting to time it like this one now here and just to see is it going to come in and is it going to crash and then grab the shot just as it crashes here I have to be careful one eye is open here to watch out is a wave going to come in and catch me as well here on the left hand side big wave now as well coming in here and when i frame this i'm getting the light up in the top left hand corner of the frame i am at 100 mil at the moment here and then just to be able to capture that light that's there the bit of color and obviously then when the wave is coming in just like this one right here i'm going to grab that now and my settings are at 1 400 of a second f6.3 another big wave here this is frantic as you can see you just got to be constantly oh that's a nice one you got to be constantly aware and be watching the waves not only are they going to break just like this big one is coming in but there's a bigger one now as well coming in after that so i'm going to grab this one here that is nice but this big one as you can see is coming in here now i think that's going to deliver something really nice against these rocks hopefully anyway i'm going to be here ready to poised it was okay I think I've had bigger ones but they're teasing me now because they look as if they're going to be monsters that are coming in here and they're not breaking big over there but they are breaking below me here also so yeah I'm going to uh, take the final shot I'll give you a look at these now and then I'll check back in before I finish up
So thank you very much as always for joining. Hope you enjoyed this adventure and also coming out with the long lens after a storm comes light and in this case comes waves. Thank you very much like I say for joining. If it's the first time on the, on the channel please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment and until the next time, stronger phone.